How are you doing? My name is Oscar Moran and I work for AC Beyond. The video before we mentioned the low pressure switch, the high pressure switch, and the coil. Today we're going to talk about that, but we're going to go back to video one where I was showing you before. But before we start on that, we're going to start with the same procedure, the wiring diagram. Remember, this is a ladder schematic. This is your transformer, it's three legs here. And this. Mine is R and this is common. Now we mentioned before that we have oh uh, it was Y1 with a low pressure switch, the high pressure switch, and the coil, right? And before that one over here we just had a coil. Right, and then well, we're going to leave it. We're going to work on Y1 now with the thermostats. We're going to have thermal. Remember, this is inside the air conditioner and this is outside. So, this is a T stat. Okay, now our friends over at uh, ICM they gave us a thermostat and it looks something like this. It's the uh, SC5811 Simple Comfort Pro. It's a good thing about it is it is made in the United States and in the USA. Okay, they have different types of uh, thermostat, but this is the one we're going to use today. Okay, we're not going to wire it up. We're just going to show you the way it's going to the way you know it's wired up. Okay, now on this thermostat, we're going to we're not going to use all of their points, but we're going to use is they have R. Let me see what you have. What do you guys want to have? Here's, okay, good. We're going to have Y1, uh, G, and common. Okay? Now, before we mention the thermostat, was when it's an auto, that means the fan is always on. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, when it's on, that means the fan is always on. And when it's auto, it means the fan is going to come on when the cooling comes on. So, on this one, this one right here, we're going to put it on set auto, okay? So we're going to put a wire to here, okay? Now, thermos is going to be wired to the R and to the common, okay? Now, you got to remember, inside the thermostat, it's, it's a switch, okay? But technically it's a switch because inside the thermos is going to go like this, okay? This is a symbol for the temperature. When temperature rises, it makes contact. That means when temperature rises, the R's over here, so over here is going to make contact and 24 volts is going to go here. Once 24 volts goes here, the low pressure switch is fine, which is the pressure. We also want to talk about that off, uh, later on. We're going to have the low pressure switch here. Okay. So this wire to wire 1. We're going to have the low pressure switch here. Wire in series with the hepper switch. As you notice, the hepper switch we have with the automatic with the manual reset. Okay, and then from here it's going to go into the coil. One side over here, the coil is wired in here, and then the other side of the coil is going to be wired into common. Common is here and here. Okay, so we we'll make here, make sure this is common and this is common. And this is R. Okay, so one that power goes 24 volts goes through here. Close, close, energize, it consumes the energy, contact is going to pull, then the compressor is going to come on, put it here, now if you remember, there are normally open contacts, right? Do you have to remember that you have to visualize, okay, what happens when power here, this is OVCC, and uh, power will energize, compress the contact the coil, 
And then this is CC, and there will be CC1, CC2, CC3. Meaning that this, this coil is in the bottom in the contacts up here. So these three contacts, this coil is going to pull in, compost is going to come on. Now remember the legend here. Right, I'm going to have the legend. Okay, the legend here. Then we have, uh, we have the LP, the low pressure, and the HP, the high pressure. Okay, so this is the LP, HP, and the CC, and this is will be your fan, the evaporated fan, yes, right. It's going to be all your CC, also your compressor contact. Compressor. Oh, sorry. Contact. Yeah. Okay. Then you have your EF, will be your evaporator fan. Oh, you know what I mean from here evaporator fan coil. Okay. Contact coil. Alright, so, no, it's coil. So from uh, how you, oh from the G, when G comes on, what's going to happen? If it's going to close, that's going to make contact. 24 volts going to go through here, and then I energize this, close the contact, the compressor comes on. Same thing with the same time. G is also going to get power from G to uh, from R to G. 24 volts going to come here. It's going to go to another compressor. Con I mean another contact coil. I only have one, but I'm going to use this one, same thing. Coil energizing, coil energizes, closes the contact, and you have your evaporator fan motor. Okay, and it will be same thing here. Or there's your compressor. Oh, come on. For that, your C will be your compressor. And then you have your, your fan motor. Have your be fan motor. and this is your motor compressor okay so this is your so this is going to be EF EF1 EF2 EF3 and then you'll be F will be here will be your fan and this is your C well with everyone okay so pretty much this is the basic wiring of an air conditioner right all right, this the, this type of air conditioner, let's say it's a, mm, let's say it's an air water cool. Water cool means the water goes inside the air conditioner, comes out. We're going to talk about that later on. But now, we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot this part, okay? Now, you have to remember, the video one, I did mention that we had, it was a switch and a light bulb, okay? Now before we were doing with 120, okay? So let's just suppose that this is 24 volts, okay? Now to troubleshoot it, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, you know, there's gonna be the switch, you're gonna be presenting the switch, and this is the light bulb. Now remember, this coil, this coil, this, this motor and motor, and this light bulb, they all consume the electricity. It means it's a low, okay? This low pressure switch and this high pressure switch is only a switch that does not consume electricity. Now, it said 24 volts. Let's suppose that this here is going to be like here, okay? Let's just suppose, okay? Suppose the LP is the HP. Coil, we're going to use the light bulb just to make believe trying to tr troubleshoot. Okay, now if this is closed and this is closed, okay, the light bulb is going to be on. Okay, uh, okay, you know what? We're going to talk about that in the other video. Okay, uh, just don't forget to uh, subscribe to YouTube. And LinkedIn and Instagram. On LinkedIn is under Oscar Moran, okay? So um, 
I guess that will be it from here, but I'm going to push another video so I can talk about this part right here, okay? Thank you and good night.